of SG Internet's it's Catman Beard. Back with more of the Outer Worlds. So I was doing some uh, last second stuff on the Groundbreaker. Let's see, so I put the Super Scoper 2000 on this guy. And put a Speedy Mate on this guy and tweaked it one more time. And... Parvati, I put a speedy mate on there too. So look at that, two over two thousand deeps. So we are ready to rock and roll. We have arrived at the Hope. Mm -hmm. I need you to reroute power from our ship to the Hope's auxiliary generator. Mm -hmm. You'll have to connect me to the Hope's comm system so I can convince her central computer to enable the skip drive. Sounds good. If your calculations are even slightly off, you could crash the entire colony ship into Terra too. Nice. Or the sun. Yeah, that's it for now. And notice how it looks remarkably like the Groundbreaker. Because it's the same kind of ship. Alright, let's do this. We are finally on the hope. And I am fully... Okay, let it load. Auxiliary power... And comms. Okay, so we have two objectives. And... I've got no illusions. I'm pretty sure I'm going to have to fight my way through. Reasonably sure. Oh, whoops, already seen. So much for that. Alright. So much for the stealthy approach. But that's fine. Ground auxiliary power source to supplement. Reactor. So that's step one. Alright, now we gotta do step two, and hopefully I can do this with uh, attracting less attention. I mean, not like I mind. But, you know, I feel like I should at least make the effort. I won't tell. I know you won't. Mm -hmm. I'll keep it down. There's no one up here. It's your imagination. Yeah, actually, I'm gonna switch up. Parvati, stop making hentai sounds, thanks. Wow, that's really good magnification. Holy crap. Alright. And it should come as no surprise that the Hope and Groundbreaker are basically laid out the same because they are basically the same. Okay, hello. Power down. Alright. Let's see here. Stealth skills. Mm hmm. Stealth skills. Freaking kidding me? How is my hack not high enough? Alright, so one too low. Okay, well, that's fine. Let's see. The body attributes. Let me look at caffeine drink. There we go. Uh, okay. 
So targeting system to UDL employees. Continue. <laughs> Okay. I wonder if they'll still target me. I probably should have... Yeah, it's fine. I ain't scared. Hello, my Sprat friends. Oh, well, we're going away from the target. That's not fun. Okay. Alright, not too bad. What we got? Finding a lot more blood around the ship lately. <laughs> blood stains a steel hull. Chief Custodial Engineer. <laughs> Nice. Mm. Get all that stuff. It's like, yeah, I know we're, we're, we're in all likelihood not going to interact with any more vendors. But you can never be too sure. Alright, moment of truth. I'm not a UDL employee. I guess it doesn't care. Wow, that's a bit more zoom than I was expecting. That's actually pretty amazing. Can't open it. I'd rather the ramp. I mean, the scope is kind of... kind of hard to get used to. Good job, guys. Okay. Is there a door back under here somewhere? Of course not. That would make things a little too easy. Alright, uh... I said, this is where it came from. Got a finger lodged in the security mechanicals. Ugh. <laughs> okay. Alright. Alright, well. If y'all don't mind, I'm going to pick this lock first. Seems like there's going to be something good back in here. At least I hope so. Thank you for going to all this trouble. Or it could just be a bunch of sprats. Oh, it's another mega sprat. Shoot. 
Should we assign Sam for a cleanup? Ugh. Oh, oh gosh. I'm gonna be sick. What in the void just I don't know what void just happens. I'm writing it down in case I'm going insane. Well, the guy have a pod in his arm. It was all clammy, rubbery, almost, and it started to liquefy. Ugh. Well, hopefully there's something in here worthwhile. Not really. Just a bunch of empty pods. I mean, it was kind of neat seeing another one of these giant sprats, or mega sprats, I guess, is the proper term. All right. And there's an elevator over here, something we should probably take note of. Warning and authorized access to and blah, blah, blah. Okay, status. 9,999 pods, so I'm the only missing one. think of much worse than drooling on your pillow in front of a bunch of strangers. Hey, I, I was one of those strangers. Okay. Okay. Bots. Okay. Hold still. All right, well, it's coming. Sorry. Don't be. You're fine. Whoops. Manual log. Going around right trying to figure out how we're going to eat. Tell charting 26 years trial through space. If I get one thing wrong, one so much decimal point, if you crash into an asteroid. Called here because our numbers and rations are off. Off, we mean off. We have to wait, someone hasn't been taking theirs. Actually, food sounds like a good thing. <laughs> Not extra, someone's getting their food from another source. They must have it stashed somewhere. So, someone could have brought some from Earth. They don't even include our rationing, Frank. Every bit of food in the ship is to be split amongst all. It's theirs, isn't yours to take. It's not about ownership, it's about survival. We're going to run out eventually. The longer we last, the closer we get to figuring this all out. Okay. Mom used to have such... Perhaps our soap yet. Mom used to have such a garden. Growing her tomatoes and lemons and limes. We left herbs. She was kind to share a sample seed sample of seeds with me, so whatever we end up might start my own garden. Now buds grow in hydroponics. Might not be the backyard, but something. Thought helped me, it worked. I'm gonna help, but it worked. Now how the fuck do I break the news to the captain? Uh oh. Captain, one son record. I'm sick of the witch hunt. It's me. I haven't been eating my rations. Why? I don't need it. I don't mind feeling hungry. I need my chief engineer with his full faculties. I'm glad you owned up to this, but start eating your full share. That's an order. With all due respect, Cap Ropship Creek. I'm not sure that that's an order. It means a lot right now. It holds weight for more now than ever, Frank. We need to stay organized. Why well, ain't doing it? To either shove that shit down my throat yourself or give my leftovers to someone else. Huh. Interesting. Okay. Wait for it. Alright. How about that? Got it. Not a peep for me. Okay. Root communications. Can you hear me, Captain? I have successfully integrated myself into the Hope's comm systems, and I'm attempting to establish contact with the Hope's more mm. primitive processor now. Would you like me to play a mood-suitable music selection while you travel to the bridge? <laughs> oh, sorry. 
Pound, not pound. Tiff. All right, so when I mention an elevator. I you've located the stasis chambers. Which pod were you slumbering in for so long, Captain? The missing one, I take it? Mm-hmm. Excellent deduction. All right. Whoa. I probably should have been looking at whatever that was. Okay. Yep, so we're going to have more bogeys. In a second. Shot him in the dick, shot him in the dick. I mean, let's put... These were the private quarters of the Hope's former crew. Shall we hold a moment of silence for the dearly departed? Nah. Let's see. Tomatoes die on their stalks. Something must be wrong with the soil. We have a month of rations. Crew talks of cannibalism. My Wilhelm fights to bolster off their wilting spirits and to bar the way for... Da -da -da -da. Search for Dark Path. Lucas. Sleep in his pot. Think of all the, all the other sons and daughters, mothers and fathers. Oh, come on. I'm house my family being devoured by these ghoulish men. Yeah. Physical effects of starvation are well documented. Never learned about the toll it take on your mind. Things hold true. Become walls between hunger and satisfaction. Difference between right and wrong blurs. It's all Frank about to eat a third of the colonists in order to survive the journey. <laughs> Uh. Tentral crew, I don't know who let Frank Nolda out of his cell, but he's now an enemy of the ship. <laughs> Anyone in league with him will be in prison for the duration. Anyone caught tampering with cold stores, possibly frozen. Block out the cold stores bays. Can you get us to Halcyon? Been working on it. Can you get us there? I have to, Captain. Good. Meet me on the bridge and make our last stand there. What about Donna? She won't be joining us. What the hell what happened? If we want to get here, hurry. Okay, I can't believe this is happening. I bet she ate her. And not like in a sexual way. Okay. It's like you got, dude, I found a fucking like space milky way in your quarters how do you not how are you talking about running out of food plus there's all these sprats like don't, don't something don't add up here hello this is new Mama Wilhelm. <clears throat> Lucas, forgive me. Frank offered me so tiny a piece. It tasted like... It doesn't matter. It tasted like it was delicious. And I loved it. Wow. Broke the lock to my personal quarters. Not Wilhelm. Yep. So they went cannibal. That's the Hope's computer up ahead. I'll admit... I am curious to wake him. All right. Once we switch that thing on, we can get out of here, right? That's the plan. All right, here we go. Okay, comms. Greetings, Captain. I am speaking to you through the Hope's computer system. Mm -hmm. It's a rather cramped feeling, but it'll do. <laughs> All right, we're ready to skip the hope. Are you sure? That is extremely dangerous. Skipping the hope will void the warranty on the skip drive. <laughs> and also potentially kill an entire planet. How is my humor now, Captain? Improved? That wasn't really funny, but let's do it. Jump starting the skip drive. Destination set to the rings of Terra 2. All right. I'm not skipping it myself. I'm going to let her do it. In case I don't get another chance to say it, it's been interesting, Captain. Doing it. 
I mean, affirmative. <laughs> Just give me the hope in three, two, one. ADA, does your captain seriously intend to <laughs> go jump in system with engines that haven't been powered in 70 years on a derelict ship? That is what my captain intends, yes. But that is a gross misuse of the skip drive. The Zero Point Drives Corp and I will not be held responsible for any damage incurred during transport. And this will cause extreme damage. Yes, I am aware of that. You should not be doing this. The humans will die. Thank you, Hope. It looks like all systems are go. Captain, I would advise you to hold on to something. Now. Here we go. So, I wonder what the skip drive is exactly. Maybe seeing it in action will maybe give me an idea. Oh, I mean, it just looks like FTL. It didn't really tell me anything. Because if it was like, you know, oh, good. Battlestar Galactica. And have successfully skipped into Terra 2's orbit. I mm -hmm. reported as much to Phineas Wells, but he has not responded. Perhaps you should check in on him. Let's do that. I hardly felt a thing. Was that an attempt at humor, Doctor? Certain levels of drollness are difficult for me to discern. <laughs> All right, let's see if they're going to be kind. Return to Phineas's lab. I doubt it. Uh, change floors. Change floors. Nope. We're gonna have to walk back. Alright. Let's do this. Let's see, I can't tell which one this is because it says ID the board. Oh, the one that was 90 is my NRA one. Uh, da -da -da. Oh, and that has the lowest ammo. Let's just, yeah, let's just screw it. Let's just use uh, energy or uh, plasma, whatever. Well, look at all this food. They totally didn't have to eat each other. Da, 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 da. I mean, I suppose it is theoretically possible that the food and stuff here does actually not belong to them, but rather to... But rather to uh, the UDL guards and stuff. Oh, hello. Hey, machine gun two is actually not that impressive since I've been through to a uh, Gorgon, but whatever. Insulated, okay. <laughs> Let's see. It's Resi, sorry for waking you when the pod alarms went off. Don't do this. Alright, continue. Tree was a incident record. No one's been missing. Resi, let me know the secret. We're checking it every morning. Chief Engineer Champing with the pods. Collect whatever I do. I should throw a fucking airlock, Frank. You thank me for solving our food crisis. The solution is sacrificing innocent people. Da, da, da. He's tampering with the pods. But yeah, so. Yep. 
He ate him. Alright. It's Frank went cannibal. That was quick. Yeah, I took a perk to make it so I can do that quickly. I don't know if there'll be resistance, but just in case. I guess that was the engine. Pretty cool looking. I mean, in mind this is in my mind this is one of those things like if they're making me walk back, there's gotta be a reason. Does this make sense? Not just, you know, making you walk back to walk back. <laughs> Always welcome. Bit weird. All right, cheese it. And the deed is done. We did it. Captain, I am receiving a transmission from Dr. Wells. The transmission is marked with priority status. Urgent! All right, so I'm going to save. Because we're not at the point of no return, but we're very close. So I'm going to go all the way down here. And make a near the end save. All right, so this has been The Outer Worlds. I'm Captain Midbeard. Captain, I shall now play the transmission I received from Dr. Wells. I guess we're not. We're going to wait a second. They found me somehow. They're about to blast my door open. I can't stop them from getting me, and there isn't enough time to explain everything. But there's something very important you need to remember. The board. Uh -huh. All their lackeys are all a bunch of swine. Do you hear me? They're fucking corporate swine. Swine, got it. They're fucking pigs! I'll take you all out with me! I'll never... It would seem the recording captured some rather dire events. Mm -hmm. I presume you'll want to dock at the orbital lab to check on your associate as soon as possible? How can I be of assistance? Eh, uh, that was... Uh... here. So... As I was saying, this has been The Outer Worlds. I'm Captain Midbeard. Appreciate each and every one of you who watches. Stay safe, stay healthy, wash your hands, wear your mask. Thanks so much, and peace out.